And now at noon. Right around Christmas, though, it's a tough thing, and uh, our prayers are out for them. An investigation is underway to figure out how a fire started at a home in Danielson early this morning, just days before Christmas. Everyone managed to get out and escape those powerful flames, except for the family's dog who did not make it. Channel 3's Eva Zamara shares how this family is doing and how the community is coming together to support them. Justin Berger says he got a jumbled message from his wife while at work. Missed the call. I had to call her back. And uh, I heard something about a fire. He said he did what any father would do. Justin dropped everything and headed to his home on Quinnebog Drive. And nobody really asked any questions. I got a bunch of texts later saying, you know, what happened, what happened? The Danielson fire chief told me they got the call just after midnight. When they got there, he said about 75% of the house was on fire. Justin's family managed to escape along with their pet rabbit. The fire alarm was going off. Uh, she grabbed my son, she grabbed my other daughters out of their bedroom and just ran for the door. From what all the police officers and firemen have said, that uh, they're very surprised that anybody made it out of the house. Justin's wife and three children were taken to the hospital for burns and smoke inhalation. They've all been released and they're now staying with family. Happiest moment of my life. I uh, you know, just went straight to my kids and hugged my kids, kissed my kids, hugged my wife. Um, it's all that I care about in life. Everything else in life is material. The community is now coming together, wanting to help this family in any way that they can. Once we find out what to do, where you can donate and things like that, we'll probably do something. I'm sure the rest of the neighborhood would too. The cause of this fire is now under investigation by the Killingly Fire Marshal with the assistance of the State Fire Marshal's office. Now stay with us not only on air, but also on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story. Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.